I'm sorry. I have a video on how to cut your off shoulder. And I also have a video on how to sew it. As you can see, how to sew it. I have a video on how to pad it. So, what I want to show you guys today is how to cut your neck. Although it, this is optional, you can give it any design of neck which you want. You can give it shape like this. You can give it sweetheart. It depends on your shape or your desired neck which you want. But what I want to give you now is V neck shape. And how I am able to get my V neck shape is that I take my bust measurements and my waist measurement. My bust measurement is 45 divided by 4. This is 45 here divided by 4. 45 divided by 4 is giving level 0.25 so the 11.25 now i'm going to put it here put my 11.25 here and as you can see this is my sewing allowance i showed you how to cut it to get it so this is my sewing allowance and my waist now i have 38 for my waist measurement so my waist measurement 38 divided by 4 38 divided by 4 we give me 9.5 so the 9.5 now i have it here i have my 9.5 here and i must also going to put it at the down the waistline here 9.5 on that was 9.5 sorry so it's what i have now to get my neck measurement now the depth of the neck i took the depth of the, my client's neck and the depth is nine inches so I put it at this line here because she wants it to come down. So it's at this line here now. What I'm going to do now is to bring it up. This after sewing is not the the cup. This is the extra that comes out. It's not among your measurements. So you can trim it off. It's up to half inches here. So what I'm going to do next is to take my neck from here. Because the armhole is starting from here, so my neck now I'm going to put it here. It depends. If you want to take a measurement for the neck, you can still take a measurement. Let me just keep it at this six because she wants it very open. So I'll keep it at this six here and bring it down to the nine. You can see down to the nine. Make sure you take your measurement so you don't make mistake. As you can see, this is the nine. I'm very impressed for you to see. So make your V shape like this. So this is the neck. I'm still going to cut this out like this. So you can see how open it is. This is exactly what she wanted. How she wants it to be. So for the back, the back, you're also going to place the front on your back. In order for you not to get your cutting short. Place your front on your back. As you can see, this is my zip allowance. This thing, this is thing she said on my zip allowance. You can see thing she said on my zip allowance. So, and she wants the back to also come down. I don't, I don't want it to come much, to so come down much. So, take it like you just keeping a little, like one inch. To check now, one inch upward. But the front is not down. And you turn it like this. So this is very easy to make. And there is another thing I want to show you. This side, if you look, it is not equal as this, as this front. If I split the front now, this side goes down. So you have to connect that issue there. Come down by one. So you can see the line here and your allowance. Come here by one, not here. Come here by one, then bring it to this. Take it to this place. I'll give it a slight curve like this to the one there. What you do now is 
take bring it out like this. Return the man. Come back and over in Balako. When they use this one, when they happy, they tell everybody and it's the toxic. You cut that they don't already cut and go one side. So I will cut the the blind and come out to you. So when you're cutting your your front, your line, I want to show you. When you're cutting your line, you don't cut it separate. You use your up to place on your front, your lining. Use your front fabric to place on your front lining. In order for you not to be confused or to miscalculate your cutting. So that is how I'm going to cut the front and the back. You can see everywhere it's smooth, smooth, and lines. So. Uh, what I did was to sew the neck, as I told you, was to sew the neck and I top stitch it. You can see top stitching on it after sewing it. So that's the same thing I did at the back. I, the same thing I top stitch it. So when you do it, to place your back on your phone. Before then, make sure this is the side you are going to sew your machine from this up down one. Then you place your front on the back. After folding everything in, place it like this. Make sure it is well arranged. You can see. After placing like this, you discover that your zipper allowance is already shown. So what you will do now is to use your shop. Is to use your chalk to draw out your zip allowance down like this. Then you sew. You can sew it down like this. So let me sew it and show you. As you can see, I have sewn it as I showed you. And I have ironed it open. This is very necessary when you want to put the zip. You need this piece of line to show after opening. So I have opened it. What I want to do is to show you how to sew it in. So this is the inner sewing which I want to do next. What I will do next is to take off this up parts of the lining and this is the main fabric to the fabric here to the main fabric to the main fabric here because i want to say fabric to fabric and lining to lining so what you can see here is the main fabric to the main fabric here and you pin make sure you pin everything down so when i pin down i'll show you so as you can see i have pinned it separately from the lining also this side I pinned it separately from this lining because I'm going to sew the fabric to fabric and the lining to lining. So what we are going to do next now is to take our bust measurement and our waist measurement. As I told you before, my bust measurement is 45. 45 divided by 2, which we are going to do now because it's now open, not equal 4 again, it's equal to 45 divided by 2, we give you 22.5. So 22.5, now you take it from this end here. You have to get your accurate measurement. I've showed you before, but this one I need to see. To the 2.5, you have to get your accurate measurement. You take from this very end here, from this end here to this 22.5. 22.5, which is there. Then what we have here now is 3 inches. Our, after taking from this end to here, what we have here left is 3 inches. So this 3 inches here now, we are going to divide it into 2. Then we put one here and the other one here. So this 3 divided by 2 will give you 1.5, which we are going to put 1.5 here and take the other 1.5 to put at this other side to give you your accurate bust measurement. So that one side will not be bigger than or shift more than one other side. So for the waist, the waist measurement is 38 divided by 2. The waist divided by 2 will give you 19. So the 19 here now, the same thing I'm going to do here. Take the 19, 19 here, 19 here, then we check how many is left. So what we have here now is 4.5. 4.5 divided by 2 will give you 2.2. So that is what we have here now. 2.2 we have here now. Put that 2.2 here. Then put the same 2.2 here. So we are still going to take that the same measurement here, which is. Sorry, let me. Don't want to be confused. 19 divided by 2. Sorry, 28 divided by 2, 19. So that is the same thing, which 
But yeah, that's what I'll still need to find here. Divided by two, is, you can see 19 here. Yeah, what is left here? You can see it is not as the same as this other side. Here was 4.5, and here now we got 5 to get your accurate measurement. So here now we are going to take 2.5 for this part. We're going to take 2.5 here and put the same 2.5 here. So you can see. So what I'm going to do now is to sew it. I will sew exactly what I have here down. After I sew here, I'm still going to sew the same measurement, or you can make the lining lesser by half inch or 2.5. It should not be more than this. It should be lesser. You have to, you're from your lining edge. Now you can take it at this other side. On your line, you rest on your line. This one should be this measurement, but your line it might make it smaller so that it will fit in. If it's your line now, it's like this. If you need to sew your line like it, it'll be tighter, it will affect this front. So your lining should be freer than this, a bit, a bit free than this. So let me go and sew everything and I'll come back to you and show you how it's going. So what I'm going to do now is to iron all the four sides. Please, in case you are just joining, in case you have been watching my video, please, I need your support. For me to know that I am not doing this alone. If this my all my videos have, have been helpful to you, please subscribe, share to your friends, don't learn alone because I'm doing this to teach other people. Even some people are not openly to share their things which they have. So please give it me some encouragement, share it and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of my videos, I want to give you tips of what you do every day. So what I'm going to do now is to so iron it open. I already showed you how to make your own bottle. You really, you really need your bottle with water so you need to do your ironing. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please give my video a thumbs up if you find any of my work helpful. And subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let me continue to our work. So I'll iron the four side and I'll come back to you after I iron the I'll iron the iron both the lining and the fabric and I'll come back. So as you can see I've already ironed it open as I told you. First iron the inside and the lining to iron it both the other side. You can see how it looks, it, it looks nice. You can decide to put your peplum or you put your down part for your dress. What I'm making now is a maxi gown, so I'm going to put my down part. So you can also use this formula for your peplum. Make sure you don't leave it around. Uh, maybe next time I will show you how to make a peplum and how to put it inside. You can, if you want to sew, you can sew your peplum. Let me just break through this. You sew your peplum here. Put your peplum after folding your edge of your peplum. You place it at this end here. Then you sew around. If you are plenty, you know how to print your peplum. At this your dot till the end. After printing your peplum, you are going to turn it like this. You are going to turn it. I'm just making it. Maybe I might not shoot that video. I don't think so. I just want to brief you on my my bit later. Then after sewing your peplum on this fabric. Your peplum should be inside. Once your peplum is inside, you bring this here now and cover your peplum. Then when you turn, when you turn it out, because it is going to be from the armhole if you have already sewn this down close. When you turn out, you see that here will be looking very nice. So that is how to do your inner sewing. So this is what I want to show you for for today. So God bless all of you. Thank you for subscribing. If you have already subscribed. If you have not, please subscribe. Thank you.